According to Morocco World News, Greenpeace recently named Morocco's Kutubiya Mosque and Asunna Mosque as two of the most environmental friendly mosques in the world. Since several years, in the case of Kutubiya 2016, state owned mosques consistently turn toward renewable energy, and in particular, solar energy. According to the energy efficiency for Morocco state owned energy investment firm, these solar panels supply 100% of the energy need in the Kutubiya mosques. Kutubiya Mosque and Asunna Mosque are part of the so called Green Mosques program. This program contributes to reducing energy consumption in mosques and related buildings. The implementation model was validated on sets of more than 100 mosques. The program is implemented in coordination with the Ministry of Endowments, Awqaf, and Islamic Affairs. The objective is to upgrade and maintain the whole set of mosques in operational condition nationwide. There are more than 50,000 mosques in Morocco. At the technical level, the actions carried out cover the following. Replacement of lamps, installation of solar thermal water eaters and power self-generators for large mosques, technical training of mosque staff. But the first question is, why these programs is deliberately targeting mosques? According to a recent study by Moroccan scholars from Moroccan universities, mosques are buildings with a unique occupancy schedule and special energy and water consumption scheme. Generally, this type of buildings lacks the application of energy efficiency solutions and sustainable guidelines during the conception, construction and the operational phase. On a different level, we must underline how these iconic edifices can place a key role in raising awareness for sustainability and promoting cleaner energy technologies. So then, what is the symbolic power of mosques for Muslim and how these buildings are perceived by local communities and how they serve local communities? First of all, mosques are not sanctuaries. Every place is the same to God and the ritual prayer, the Salat, could be shown anywhere. On top of that, historically, mosques have been the political and religious centers of the community. And we cannot forget that mosques can be considered places of public assembly, and in consequence, the mosque is visited for many other purposes than that of divine worship. In the history of Islam, mosques have been placed for regular marketplace, for doing business, and it naturally came that in some cases people also eat in the mosque or even sleep over there. Having explained the mosque symbolism, it is interesting to come back to the Green Mosque program and underline how this success story is also attracting international cooperation, such as the recently established one with the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, resulting in a complementary project called Green Mosques and Building Project. Preliminary results seems to be very promising. So far, 293 additional jobs have been created and more than 890 mosques have been already upgraded in terms of energy efficiency with energy savings, savings in the range of 41 to 63 percent. This project must be framed in the already ongoing efforts Moroccan government is putting in place as with the pledges assumed in the framework of the Paris Climate Agreement.